Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Aries friends and friends of Aries. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and I am Zachary. Thank you for joining me here, you guys, and welcome to my table. So this is your reading here for December 18th through the 24th. Going to take you right on up to the back end of Christmas, or Christmas Eve, as they like to call it. I'm going to get shuffling here for your spirit animal energy, and then I do have the Starseed Oracle I'm introducing here as well, so we'll go into Oracle Messages. And I'll talk about what I saw for you in meditation. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Spirit, what do we have here for Aries? Aries for December 18th through the 24th. I am, you guys. I, I finally caught the, the vid. Okay. I got COVID last week. So, I am recovering from that. Um, and we did just go into Mercury retrograde today. I am finding that I was really nervous about doing readings, actually. Um, just being able to tap in externally because Mercury retrograde is all about going inside, inside, okay? It's a disconnect from the exterior realm so that we can illuminate the interior realm. Um, it's actually um, allowing me to tap in in some cool ways, but my words are blah, 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 sometimes, okay? I am a Gemini sun, Virgo rising, Virgo moon. So all ruled by Mercury, um, kind of get bitch slapped when Mercury goes retrograde, okay? Okay, goose, inner knowings, <laughs> silly goose. That's exactly what we we're just talking about, right? With with Mercury retrogrades, your inner knowing. So you are a brave traveler. Your soul knows the way. Be confident you will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry, you are blessed. Let yourself fly. So the inner knowing component um, is what stands out the most, and silly goose, obviously, silly buns. Um. What I saw in meditation, I'll get shuffling here for your oracle messages. Spirit, Aries here. Still working on Aries. Help us out, please. Um, so in meditation, what I saw was the symbol for, uh, well, first of all, I saw the priestess in um, the Toth deck. And I do have, so the Toth deck is the first deck that I actually ever got. And um, it's my oldest deck. And it is also um, a very specific energy as far as the tarot goes. Most of the tarot that's out there is a bit more easily digestible for most folks because it doesn't really, like it kind of dips a toe into the darker realms, which we are here, you know, balance, light and dark. Uh, it focuses more on light. The Toth deck is not afraid of exploring all of it. Um, so I have a very unique connection with that deck as well. And I felt compelled to bring it out today. I used it a little bit with Sagittarius. Um, and so far, it's communicating a lot with me visually. So the priestess image on the Toth deck is what came out. And that the component of that is um, secrets and intuition is what was coming through. And then I saw the symbol for cancer. And what that was saying to me, it was talking about, um, about protecting your emotions. So the priestess is pre-empress energy. Um, and both of them together, they are, I mean, they're masters of like the emotional realm. So, uh, the message initially was, well, it was protecting your emotions, but I was kind of confused on that because it feels like this, these emotions need to come out. Next, what I saw was like a waterfall of fire, a firefall, I guess, and a waterfall. And this waterfall kept putting out the firefall. <laughs> so what that was saying to me was there's a need or an encouragement right now actually to protect your, your self from your own emotions. Like your emotions are putting out your passion right now. And there's a need to allow your passion to be alive. Okay. So uh, yeah, let's keep going here. Let's see. Spirit, what do we have for Aries? Using your intuition is something that is important coming through there as well. Well, gosh, damn. Okay. Um, the great severing, Mars energy, anger, conflict, and softening to love. So this card, actually, the air signs, the poor air signs, poor dears. <laughs> uh, Gemini and Aquarius were dealing with some anger hard, hard, hard. Um, they actually, uh, was it Aquarius? One of them got the great severing, okay? My point is just that um, it was... A message about a great deal of anger and um, maybe that's just the collective we're going through right now a lot of us are 
releasing this energy. Um, but as Aries, you are ruled by Mars. This is your ruler. Um, so this is, uh, this is a rather big deal as well. I would say maybe this is your... Hmm, maybe this is where your emotions are putting out your passion or you're having a difficult time telling the difference between. It's a fine line, okay? Because that is Mars. That angry energy that same that mars energy is passion right on the light side of mars or aries there is that uh, passion that comes through and on the dark side <laughs> uh the dark side of mars there there's anger and there's conflict so the great severing what i'm getting is like this could have something to do with like a relationship that's been severed. I feel like it's a severing from yourself. Like this anger, this anger is separating you from the love that you deserve. Okay. And this may be confusing because maybe it's not coming out as explosive anger. Maybe it's a bit more nuanced for some of you. Apathy comes through. Hmm. Let's keep going. Let's just keep going. Your soul knows the way. That's where the intu intuitive part is coming through. I feel like there's been this disconnect, okay? The great severing. Whatever's happened that's caused this anger, number one, I feel like it's a buildup and that absolutely needs to be dealt with. Uh, breath work is fantastic, okay? Qigong is what I was recommending. Tai Chi movement, uh, guttural screaming, okay? Letting this anger out in healthy ways, not taking it out on people or yourself. Uh, removes that toxicity so that love can come in and, and help. But there's something about your soul knowing the way to. So give giving your intuition a chance. But that, that great severing makes me feel like you are severed from your intuition. So let's see what the reading has to say because it's an interesting energy. Aries. What do we have for Aries here, spirit? Um, you guys love you, okay? Thank you for loving me and supporting me here. It's always good to see you. I um, am enjoying this so far. It has had its fair share of um, surprises and lessons, you know, but it's been a great learning lesson for me. If you guys are resonating with this message, please consider liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Those are all great ways to support me here and to support the growth of this channel, which is absolutely my goal. Um, I also have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description there. If you do feel called to tip or donate, I deeply appreciate it and I will accept that. So thank you so, so much. Okay. And this is a general reading, everyone. So if this is resonating with you, this message is for you, or parts of this are for you, okay? If it's not, please don't try to make it fit. It's okay if it doesn't. Leave those messages for someone else, okay? So the sun, you guys are hoping for the sun, is what's going on here. <laughs> You're hoping for a little bit uh, different experience with fire. <laughs> like that Mars energy is a heat. Let me say heat, not necessarily fire. Um, but you guys are, are fire as well. So the sun or fire itself can provide warmth, but it can also burn depending on how we're engaging with it. So what I'm feeling here, this individual is, you know, happy AF. You're hoping for a different way to engage with the warmth that life has to offer, which makes sense. Okay. If you're feeling burned or something, you're feeling out in the cold. Yep. I'm here for that. That makes sense. Spirit, what do we have for Aries here? December 18th through the 24th. Um, I did have some towers come through as I was shuffling. Um, Sagittarius had some towers as well. It was definitely more along the lines of breaking free or having a breakthrough. So um, let's hope that's the same for you guys. And check out your rising moon and Venus if you'd like. I'm going to give you a little bit more information about what's going on for you if you want to dive a little deeper. Okay, the Emperor. So this is your card as well. Um, fear or aversion is what's happening here. What I'm getting is that uh, this anger that you're experiencing, like I said, it may not be coming out in explicitly angry ways. It may as well, though. Um, but what I'm getting is that for some of you, it's feeling out of control or you feel out of control when it does come out. 
So the fear that's coming through here is the power component or control. So there's a fear over your own power. There's a fear over what is going on when you aren't sitting on the throne, okay? That control. Some of you may also be, be sh okay, some of you are shying away from, like I was saying with the anger component here, some of, some of you are shying away from like truly experiencing that too to be able to release it. Hmm. Let's go into that, okay? And I am switch things up a little bit here with my layout. If you've been here uh, prior, welcome back. Uh, if you're new, welcome, you guys. But I did switch things up a little bit, like to keep it fresh. So your general energy is the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. So Seven of Pentacles talks about uh, patience or impatience, waiting to see the fruits of your labor, and also um, discussing with yourself, <laughs> deciding if something is is worth it for you. The energy that you've put into something, is it giving back an equivalent, equivocal reward or return, or is it not? And if it's not, you're being asked to evaluate whether you want to continue on doing something. The Four of Pentacles here talks about your stability and security. Um, I do get a little bit of, not huge, but there is, with the Four of Pentacles, there's a, an over-focus sometimes on the security aspect. And that usually comes when we've come through something that has made us feel unsafe or insecure. Financially, um, any sort of basic food, shelter, water, um, finances. I feel like there is a need to see to see something a little bit differently here, okay? To see something a little bit more clearly. And I think that that's probably what's coming up through the evaluation of what you're doing. This could have something to do with your job, what it is that you're doing to make money. I feel like for some of you, though, it's uh, the way that you're spending that money. Like, are you purchasing things to, to divert the anger? Get into this. Um, Spirit, what do we have here for Aries? Can get some more information on their general energy. <laughs> Saying, don't be afraid. Grab Toth. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I just, it's not that there's a fear. It's just um, Toth does not bullshit. <laughs> okay. Um, like, if there's something nasty coming around, they don't pussyfoot around is the whole thing. They, it, Toth, we're good friends, but I like I if I need an answer, a direct answer, that's where I go. Uh, so the Hierophant here, Taurus energy. There is absolutely a need to ground here, but this is this talks about um, traditions, value system, um, higher higher spiritual consciousness as well. What I'm getting is there is a need, kind of bringing it back to the inner knowing or intuition here, the priestess that came through on the Toth deck as well. You're being encouraged to connect to that. There is, so I am feeling very strongly, there's that great severing for some of you, has severed that connection to your own intuition, to your own um, connection to spirit, the divine, God, Akasha, Whatever your higher power is, whatever your date, your higher self, you know. Any other information on the general here for Aries? Ask your angels. Seek the divine. Your angels want to support you. So you are absolutely being called right now to connect. There has been, there's been a disconnect, okay? <laughs> um, and you are being asked to connect right now. It's going to help give you the guidance that you're looking for. To help tap into your own inner guidance system. Again, you know. It feels like something that has been disconnected for a minute. And it's, I feel like it's making you feel, well, of course, it's making you feel like lost in this world. Like, like I see Sandra Bullock in, uh, what was that movie where she's the astronaut? Just like floating away. Um, need to reconnect here, okay? So this is the good news. Whatever's happening in this section here is good news. You got Page of Cups and Eight of Cups. So Page of Cups here talks about um, could it's like a new idea, it could be a new uh, infatuation, or not really infatuation, connection to a relationship. Um, it talks about like a, a surge of emotions attached to this as well. It can be overwhelming. 
what I'm getting from this card especially, so their legs here are split. There's a there's a need to ground, okay? There's a need to ground yourself, but there's a need to ground whatever this new idea is, this little piglet here. <laughs> it's a fish in the standard card, but um, it's like a divine idea that's come to you and you're wanting to make it real, but you have to put the work into making it real. You have to ground it into reality. What I'm getting from this card especially is um, like, this is the great severing, okay? <laughs> This is the severing. So being in the section of the good news, I'm feeling like you're very supported right now to approach this situation. Um, there will be a connection that is, is happening again, okay? For some of you, there's something to do with the heart, like um, reconnecting the heart as well. I don't know what's disconnected the heart, but there is a connection that is going to be happening here as well. Eight of Cups, this talks about leaving something behind um, to start a new journey. What I'm getting from this is abandonment and feeling like something is missing is a part of this as well. What I'm feeling is that by connecting here, those feelings, that feeling of abandonment, that feeling of something missing is going away. Hell yeah, Aries, that's great. Um, can we get some more information here, please, Spirit, on the good news? Good news for Aries. The emperor. Hell yeah, you guys. Um, so that was your fear here. Fearing that uh, power. Um, and I feel like Hermit at the bottom of the deck here too. So Hermit is going to be a great representation of Mercury Retrograde in general. Um, you are going inward to find the truth. So your journey starts by sitting on your ass and starting to meditate, okay? Quieting the things that are going on around you so that you can get to the core of what needs to be reconnected. So you can go find Sandra Bullock, okay? <laughs> so the Emperor, this is your card. This is your power. And this being in the good news, especially, um, when your card shows up in a reading to me, that tells, that tells me you're in a position of power. This is a very important time for you in a very, very good way. Um, I feel like, like you're taking your life back. You're taking control of you again. Spirit, can we get some more information here on the good stuff here for Aries? Release. Release grudges, wounds, and pent-up feelings through healthy activities. Um, so that brings me back to the recommendation of manifestation, law of attraction, thoughts become things. Um, what I'm getting from that, I know I'm kind of jumping around here, being stuck or being disconnected, those being caught up in feelings of anger, that's bringing more of that towards you. You may even be aware of that, and maybe that's why there's this fear over your own power. Um, but in this section, releasing here, the good news here, you are being supported and guided right now to release some shit, okay? To release some shit from the past. I feel like, I'll go to the top. How does, um, how does Aries release can we talk about their good news here oh <laughs> i feel like toth's being a lot more gentle with you <laughs> toth is like my best friend i guess that's what it is and so they just don't bullshit me two of, uh, two of love two of cups here this is absolutely especially in this deck the toth cards have a little bit different meaning especially in some of them um, there's a lot more like occult knowledge in these cards, but the two of cups, this is definitely love. Okay. In the standard card, most other cards, it's like, it's love, but it's, it's like the meeting. Okay. The coming together of, of two people initially for business, love, friendship, and it can still be represented here, but this is certainly, certainly love. Um, and that is what's being requested here with the Oracle card, softening to love. Hmm. So I want to know more about that. We're going to move on to hidden influences here. So nine of cups and queen of pentacles. And these are hidden influences. This is anything that is going to be um, either driving you, driving this process right now, just a little bit of a sneaky peek on the back, uh, the back end. Okay. Um, nine of cups. So nine of cups talks about your personal satisfaction. 
wish fulfilled from the universe as well. So for some of you, I feel like this is a process you've been asking for for a while. And it may be clouded or it's been clouded because of the anger that's coming through. Like you get frustrated. I see a short fuse, you know. Patience isn't my strong suit either. It's fine, Aries. I get it. It's definitely been, you know, one I've worked on and working on in this life. Uh, but this is this is joy and happiness. Okay, moving towards like it's your turn is what I'm he hearing. Being drawn back to the seven of pentacles here and this process of examining if something is working for you or not. The intention of that is to start weeding out the things that are not moving you towards this wish. There are things that we have to do in this life, you know, got to make money to eat, sleep, wipe our butt. <laughs> um, but what I'm getting from this is like, there's, there's a request to start removing the things that are not bringing you closer to love. The, and the Queen of Pentacles here kind of touches on that too. Queen of Pentacles lives a life of opulence. She makes the decisions on what is in her life and what is not. Fertility comes through on this as well, a strong connection to earth. I feel like um, what I see is a hole in the ground and I'll explain this. And what that makes me think of is uh, receptivity to the energy of the earth. Make yourself fertile like our mother. <laughs> But I also feel like you are on you're on fertile ground right now, having this this wish fulfilled. You're on the precipice of having something granted right now. Mm, let's look in, let's look into it more. Um, Spirit, can we get some more information on hidden influence for Aries? Uh, Page of Cups here at the bottom again. So grounding that receptivity to Earth energy, to connection to the Earth again. This is important. Um, I'm seeing Sandra Bullock again, just like <laughs> that poor deer. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Um, she needs to be grounded, right? She needs to be reconnected to the earth so, so that she's not floating away. That's what I see you as right now too. <laughs> There's a very strong need to focus on connecting to the earth again, to bring you back into the atmosphere. <laughs> So Queen of Cups is what came through here to explain these cards a little bit further. Queen of Cups talks about protecting your emotions. Hmm. <laughs> what, what, what? It's got very cancer energy attached to it as well. And that's what was coming through in the meditation. Talking about um, protecting your emotions so that your, um, your passion, so both can exist, okay? The waterfall and the firefall. I feel like... Kind of looking back on that as well so you've got it's like a your passion firefall which i was saying is like the light side of mars but it can turn into anger and conflict as well on the dark side so that waterfall your emotions are like putting out your fire and then it's coming back with a greater you know to to replace itself i see it as like like your skin having oil okay the oils on your skin the more that you strip that oil off the more that your body produces oil to compensate for that is kind of what I'm feeling on that. So there's a need to, to check that balance. There's something about your emotions that are dampening your passion and uh, igniting your anger. Okay, Toth, okay. What do we have to say here to Aries? How does Aries approach this when they're hidden? Mmm. Emperor again here at the bottom of the deck, you guys. This is a very heavy like you reading. It is Aries, but um, there is a need to, to focus on, because that's the Mars energy too. It's just pointing back to this anger, this great severing. Um, okay, so adjustment is what comes through here. This is like the judgment card. There's a need for balance. The note that I'm getting here too, being in the hidden section, it's like, like karma has been trying to balance something out, but you keep getting in the way. Like that water dampening the passion. 
And you've got Wish Fulfilled coming through here with the Nine of Cups. We'll look into that a little bit more as well. Um, Two of Wands comes through here as well. And this card talks about um, Dominion. It's making, making a plan, making a choice to move, to move through something. What I'm getting with this is because the Emperor card, your card talks about like control over your dominion as well. Um, that's the component I'm getting. Like there, ha there are forces that are trying to balance something out and you keep getting in the way. How are they getting in the way? <laughs> Eight of Swords. And this card literally says interference. <laughs> I feel like... Um, Yeah, there's like a hasty approach to something here. Like you're tired of being patient or you haven't really truly been patient. Some more information on this. Um, Spirit, can we talk about the infer uh, interference here, please? More information there on the interference. What does Aries do? The Six of Swords. Okay. Um, what I'm getting along the lines of release here, there's a need to go with the flow here, you guys, and not the flow of your like anger. You know, um, this is transitioning from rough waters to calm, a calm situation. Help coming at exactly the right time. This could be something helpful for you as well. Okay, um, Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles talks about abandonment, being out in the cold. The story with that, though, the beggars that are outside here are outside of the church, which symbolizes warmth and safety. They can let themselves into that church at any time. So you guys have the ability. That's that's what I'm getting here. The interference that's coming through is you. And you may be aware of it or not, but that's why, like, it's like your higher self is sitting back and going, oh, God, <laughs> uh, um, I need them to become aware, you know, of, of what's going on here. So by... Um, It's this expectation, like this, um, you feel like you're going in the wrong direction. Okay, sorry about that. You feel like you're moving in the wrong direction, but you're not. Because you've had to start over again. The story of this is like they're starting over with nothing. Have faith is what's coming through here. Needing to reconnect with that intuition is crucial right now, you guys. Breathwork, Qigong, okay? You got to start moving some of that anger through so that you can come back home, okay? Expansion, pursue bigger and greater endeavors. What I'm getting from that is like what it is that you've been focused on has been consuming you, right? It has been been your whole world. This is the biggest or greatest endeavor that you've been taking. It's, you know, because it feels that way. Try moving through it and moving on to something else, whether this is a person, a job, pain, you know, from the past, all of it. There's something that you're hanging on to that needs to be moved through. Okay. Um, so this is the obstacle or um, I wrote these down here, your challenge, obstacle and challenge. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Ace of Swords here and King of Pentacles. Ace of Swords talks about um, like difficult thought, a new thought. The challenge here is for you to start manifesting something different, and that starts with a thought. Clear thought, clear emotion, gratitude, and experiencing it as if it is here already is what manifestation is all about. So you're on the precipice here of a wish fulfilled and it hasn't been fulfilled because these components are not all lining up, okay? So things are coming in in wonky ways, and, and you're getting tired, and that's understandable. So try a different approach. You're being asked to approach this with logic. Cut off the emotions. We're looking at logic, okay? And starting something new there. King of Pentacles is um, it's about wealth, wealth of knowledge. Wealth of knowledge of wealth, 
distributing that, teaching others how to procure that as well. Uh, but they're they're a leader. For some of you, I feel like there could be some issues right now with um, like land or real estate. But this is um, this is power as well, power over your life, over your realm, over what it is that you're doing. And calmness while you're experiencing that, okay? Um, there's Tauran energy attached to this as well. There is a need to ground, you guys. Ground. Go get connected. We get some more information on the obstacle or challenge here. Six of Pentacles. So this is about your give and take, the flow of inward to outward energy. Um, for some of you, I do feel like there is a need to ask for help in some way or receive help. But the Six of Pentacles is attached to wealth as well, like the King of Pentacles. They are a wealthy merchant here, and they are distributing pentacles to, um, to those that need it. So what I feel like I'm getting from that is you may be watching other people get what it is that you feel like you're owed. And that's difficult because, well, you deserve it too, right? And the Six of Pentacles talks about that. You are in a, a place to receive what it is that you're due. What I'm feeling is getting in the way is that connection, okay? There is a complete disconnect right now. And that's what the Great Severing is talking about. That is the conflict. There may be conflict going on around you, but it's because there's conflict going on inside you. There's such a great disconnect between things that that is really the only energy that can prevail, okay? Any more information here on the challenge? For Aries, a new opportunity, insights gained from a new experience, job, or partner. So back to the Ace of Swords here, it's talking about a new thought, a new approach to something. Um, some of you may need to go for a new job. Um, what I'm seeing, like partnership-wise, maybe you, I'm not, not seeing you in this relationship. Like if it's not working for you, get out of it. But uh, maybe you've been stuck on somebody. Let's say that spirit stuck on stupid is what's coming through. <laughs> Maybe this is this person <laughs> and energies can be flopped to you guys, but um, it's going to be somebody else that you are have a relationship with that this is applying to what I'm feeling like with that though, is like, maybe try someone new. Okay. What I'm getting is like, if you've been sitting around for 15 years waiting for somebody, maybe try somebody new. Okay. If it was going to work, it probably would have worked by now. And that's what I'm getting. Maybe you've been sitting around waiting for a specific opportunity, whether that's a person, place thing, animal, vegetable, mineral. Um, yeah, there's something about that manifestation. Like we can't fully manifest. All right. Okay. We can't fully manifest like a specific relationship with a person. If that is not something that they also want, that is breaching consent. And we can't do that, okay? Um, if you are using your energy towards something like that, there's just there's just a recommendation here to consider trying something new, okay? Try something new because I just see you like running into the wall. <laughs> Whether this is a job, relationship, how you're feeling about yourself, there's a need to connect something different, okay? Let's look at the outcome here for you guys. Hmm. Uh, Knight of Swords and King of Swords. So Knight of Swords talks about putting thought into action, moving that energy into action. So we're having a new thought here. This is the challenge, though. This is the hard part. And maybe it's, you know, maybe you just need to swallow the reality of something. And maybe that's what's been difficult. The recommendation is to give it a shot, Aries, okay? Because I feel like that's what's causing a lot of anger for you. It's this constant disappointment that something is not working out. Go a different direction, okay? Um, and go there fast. <laughs> go there with gusto. The King of Swords talks about discernment. Um, the energy I'm getting from the King can be colder. There's not heart. There's no heart in this card at all, the King of Swords. So kind of back to logic, right? You're being encouraged to be logical here. And along the same lines as protecting yourself from your own emotions here, 
your emotions are like betraying you right now or deceiving you, but it's because you're allowing them to, okay? It's time to try something new. Test new waters. You're moving from those choppy waters to somewhere new. Don't jump out of the boat and swim back, okay, to the worn, torn state. Stop doing that. <laughs> you guys deserve something new, okay, and wonderful. Page of Cups again, there you go. Something new and wonderful. This is your new idea. It's time to ground it into reality, okay? And what that's going to take is the effort and drive to do that, but to also be logical about it with yourself, okay? Not tap as much into the emotions that are overpowering right now until you can start directing that to where it needs to go. And if you can get a counselor, get a counselor, okay? Always helpful. But journaling is something that is really helpful as well. Ooh. Because then you can start seeing patterns, okay? On like why you're doing something. Uh, wisdom, knowledge gained through experiences or from a wise counselor. <laughs> if you can access a counselor right now, there is a strong recommendation to do that, okay? I see there being success though. Like with wisdom coming through, that is that is earned. That is not something that's just given. But it requires you to, to, to take some steps to start tempering the different energies that are inside of you. Okay, Aries, I love you guys so much. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and I know you'll have a beautiful week.